Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Ludum Dari 37. The Ludum Dari has the theme, One Room, and it's a two-part jam and compo. I'm playing games from both the jam and the compo. They have slightly different rules. One's a bit more strict. I'm playing all the games that were entered in my spreadsheet. So there are a lot of like games that enter in this jam every year, every time they have one. They have a couple a year. So I'm only going to be playing the games that are entered on my list. So if you want your game to be played, enter it in the spreadsheet in the description. I'm playing each game for about a minute. Links to the individual games will be in the description, 10 per video, so you can check them out further. My favorites will be written about and an article at the end. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing Henry Snackleworth's Weird Day. Alright. Oh yeah, I clicked on this painting. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna die. This is not good. Can we double jump? No, so we can't get up to those platforms. Ooh. Stop it, you weird lizard thing. Ugh. No. Alright, so I couldn't fight that. Can I fight this guy? This is the lamp. Ooh. He looks like he's made out of electrical cord. That's quite interesting. Ah, it ran through me again. It's got way, a way bigger reach than I do. I'm probably gonna die. Darn it. Darn it. It's a pretty interesting game, though. Is there a fridge enemy? Yes. Of course, there's a fridge enemy. Ooh. I don't know how I'm supposed to get to these platforms. I can't seem to reach them. Ugh. Come here. This fridge, I'm not even getting very many hits in. Very challenging, interesting game. I see, so I am, like, not getting hit by his shield, but I am getting hit by his, you know, body. There's a lot of monsters around here. Need to upgrade our golf club skills first. Next. We're playing insurance men. Ah. You work in insurance claims at a major bank, and your job is to make sure the bank doesn't lose money by checking claims made by clients. It is your responsibility to discredit as many clients in order to save the company money. Press space to draw lines, draw lines in gray words to cross out incorrect information. Alright. So like this. Ah, oh, I didn't cross out the first bit. Denied. Okay, so you were denied. We earned some money. Awesome. I'm not sure if we just need to cross out the gray stuff in the gray box or what. I think it's just in the gray box. Approved. Darn it. Okay, so maybe it's not just in the gray box because he was approved, which was bad. I think. Ah, uh, why were you approved? I keep saying game over, but it doesn't look like game over. Alright, approved, game over. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Alright, we're gonna try to do only the boxes. Yeah, I think we need to do only the boxes. Denied. Now we've got money. Awesome. Only the boxes. Got it.
That one I didn't very much like because I was outside the box. Darn it. Next. We're playing Gun Shop Loadout. These graphics look really nice. Alright. So we are a gun shop owner. And a zombie apocalypse has happened. You look like a survivor, so we'll come see what you want. Or I spoke to him and gave him a gun. Awesome. Over here is zombies, so we're gonna kill him, probably. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so we want to arm the people, kill the zombies. You might not want to go there. You just killed someone, like, right in front of me. I'm kind of caught. Oh, I died. You want to survive seven days. I died so fast. It's a very nicely made game, though. Next. We're playing Santar. It's workshop. Santar was roundhouse kicked pine tree- was roundhouse kicking pine trees down. His workshop is under siege when naughty evildoers trying to five-finger the gifts and wreck Christmas. Okay. So I missed the first half of that. Ho oh, oh, ho, hell no. Click to start the game. Okay. Oh, oh. Awesome. So this is like a tower defense game, I think. Here's a Ready coal for elf. Battle. Ready for battle. All right. Ready for battle. Definitely need more of these. Ready for battle. All right. Ready for battle. Let's grab some sniper elves. <laughs> These graphics are quite cute. What's a gift mine? Oh, it's probably just an explosive. I want something with more longevity. Oh, the trees actually give you more stuff. Did one get through? I feel like one got through. Alright, so these spirit trees give us more. Let's do it. There you go. We need to get way more of these out Attack way formation. faster. Attack formation. Attack formation. Sniper Attack elves. Okay, candy teeth. Oh, these are like the stuff that stops them, aren't they? Okay. We're doing way better this time. Cool. It's a very well made tower defense game. This isn't actually tower defense, but yeah. I did it, didn't I? Maybe not. Next. We're playing Ikara's Takeoff. Oh, space to jump. Ikara Chan. Fly away, collect your feathers. Okay, right, hold C key to freeze time. Oh, that's cool. What's this? Oh, that's like a wall. Like, we don't get to go by there. Okay. You can only seem to move, like, that one. Can't really get up here. No, this isn't good. There we go. This is quite a cool game. I feel like the co controls are kind of backwards. That might just be me. Alright, how do I get close to where I need to be? Mm, 
to get like uh, everything's gotten so complicated so fast. Hmm. I wish I had just a higher jump. There we go. Oh, there we go. Sometimes I go to press one button and I accidentally press the wrong one, if that makes sense. Because, like, to move the, the middle block left, I press the right key. Other than that, it's a fairly solid game. I, yeah, I can trade that with me. But once you get used to it. Bam. I've got bad things happening. playing one room farmer I'm gonna pick normal mode you've been an ordinary guy until you heard about a giant rose which is believed to be a universal cure and you become obsessed with the idea to grow this miracle flower in order to become the most powerful man on earth you have lost your job so you have no money to buy extremely expensive seeds of the plant you long so much for but as far as you're as far as you're unstoppable as long as you're unstoppable you've decided to establish your own garden right in your room and start with planting the cheapest options you can afford before you find the key to absolute power or go bankrupt there is a zen mode. I'm gonna plant some cucumbers. That's all the cucumbers I have. <laughs> I was trying to collect them. How do I collect them? Just click on them. Okay, let's grab some tomatoes. Oh, this is a table of impacts. Okay. So, you know, get water and stuff after we pay a lot of money. Well, this one only costs 45, so I mean, we could do it now. But I think we need more money first. Just gonna buy a lot of cucumber. I'm gonna get fertilizer. And that impacts the whole thing, I think. an interesting game. We get to you. Just trying to make some money and maybe this miracle flower. So this is a positive in impact on these ones. So you can kind of plant them around to have a better crop, maybe? Oh, you have a negative impact on tomatoes. Hmm. Next. We're playing Cabin Commander. Level 1. Ooh. This looks very interesting. They're out there. We're in this one room. And we can kind of... I want you guys, probably. You guys. To go maybe here. I don't even know if that's really the right spot. Basically, I should probably be looking outside. And then looking back in here. And then deciding probably where you need to go. Thank you guys, actually. Oh, they're shooting someone, so. Those tanks are trying to figure out their lives. 
Oh, I won. I killed everyone. I did very well. That's a very nice game. I like the fact that you have to look outside the room. It's a really nice way to use the theme. Next. We're playing Hourglass Collector. Alright. I am this eyeball. Well. Oh. Do I click this? Now we have an hourglass. But I obviously don't want to get caught on spikes. There we go. Who turned off the lights? Probably you, game. Ooh. I died. But it's okay, because you just go back to the last checkpoint. Is there spikes on the bottom of that place? We'll go this way. Oh, left should be the way. Alright, the controls are now reversed. So that's the thing about this room. It's like ever changing. As are the rules. I definitely saw something there. Oh, all of the spikes are gone. They're all invisible. Which doesn't make the game more challenging at all. Especially since I remember like where two sets of spikes are. Got it. Uh, no. <laughs> Gravity's been reversed. I really like the fact that there's all these different rules. It's really quite fun and adds a lot of interest to this one room. Ugh, I don't think I can get out of here though. There we go. Maybe we should start here. No, I'm not. Because we always end up up here. Hmm. Next. We're playing Rent for 30 seconds. Now, apparently my name's Mike. Rent advisor rate 9.5. Alright. Hey, you have a good kitchen. Hot lasagna is awesome. Flour in a pot. Get wilted when dude wanted to sniff it. I had a cactus and slept well in a dirty bed. So, you can... Add stuff, I guess, to this room. There you go, there's two of you now. Have this bed. We want them to like our house. Nice things. Here, I have a TV. Food. You probably need stuff. Well, I don't have a lot of money, so. Oh, this is a bed. Can we sell this? I know you're still hungry. I accidentally bought this little chair bed. I don't have a lot of money. Watch how these streams the whole time. It was nice. Nice place for a rest. I didn't say I was a nice place for food. Hey, look, it's Santa. Alright, well, we've got enough for this. Can we move this stuff once it's there? No. Okay, well, have some food. Have a table. There's food. There's food. Awesome. My god. Would give a finger for a chicken nugget. Place only got snacks, but it's okay. Well, you know. It is what it is. I'm gonna put like a little flower down. You can also rotate the items, which I haven't done yet, but. Um, but nice place to eat some street lasagna. Was able to rest a bit. Alright. You know, I don't have, like, a bad rating. Hmm. Alright, so we can get this fridge. Let's see if we can kind of turn it so it's, like, here. I don't want it to be in the way of other stuff, though. My god, is it a funny place. Okay. Any more beds at this point? Mm. Nah, food's good enough. Bed's boring, but it helps you spend all day running. Yeah, but I'm getting a good rating. Mm. Cool. It's a very simple game, but it's nicely made. Ah, oh, my thing broke. You broke a bed. It was like the good bed as well. Mm. 
you go. Wow, our stuff in our house is just breaking like crazy. There you go. Next. We're playing Judgment. Okay. Welcome to the Court of the Dead, and here people are sentenced to go to heaven or hell depending on how they live their lives. It's the judge's job to choose people's destiny. Alright. <laughs> Got it. Bit loud. There we go. Well, another day of work. Let's begin. First defendant, please present yourself. Alright, so we got like four. I'm worried about my children. Um, what have you <laughs> done in your life? Which destiny do you think so? Who are you and what did you do? My name is Robert Hall. I was a sales manager and I was killed by my wife. Are my children fine? I have no idea how your children are. Why did she kill you? Uh, I don't know about your children. What made her do that? Yeah. I cheated on her and as our life wasn't easy, she couldn't handle it. What have you done in your life? When I was young, I didn't like to study very much. I was always thinking about the next girl to date on the weekend. After I got married, I got a job at Slington Inc. That I improved my career until I became a sales manager. Um, were you unhappy with your life taking this as a reason to commit adultery? Kind of. It's a long story. I am which destiny do you think you deserve? It doesn't matter to me at the moment. I need to know how my children are. Um... How many children did you have? Two, Thomas and Gabriel. They were always good boys. If at least I could say goodbye to them. Um, look, I know you think I'm an asshole, but believe me, I had no choice. If I hadn't made that mistake, I would have lost my job. This would have been an even bigger mistake, believe me. Which destiny? Oh, he said he didn't care. Are you sure you want to send this person to hell? I don't get it. Damn, curse the day that I was hired by that company. I thought you didn't care where you went. Uh -oh. Second, let's get this over with. Who are you and how'd you get here? Michael Moore, like the more, huh? It doesn't matter how I ended up here. Of course it matters. No one cares. Who would care about a guy like me dying on by high cholesterol? What have you done with your life? Everything I wanted, nobody got in my way, neither in my dad's way. Everyone knew that my fist was iron. Who is your father? How do you don't know my father? He's Logan Moore. Me, Michael Moore, his only son. He's the best fighter in the world. Taught me I can get everything I want with my fists. And you're probably not a bastard. If I find you, I'll destroy you. Well, you'd probably destroy people in heaven anyway, so. Alright. Third guy. It's me. Who are you? My name's Gustavo. I was murdered. Not that I'm surprised by that. Why not? I was raised in the streets. All these people are not good people. They aren't people who just died in their sleep or anything. I like the graphics very much, especially the little close-ups. They look cool. Next. 